you never know what could happen in the NBA. One moment you could be balling, tearing up the league, proving all of your doubters wrong, and achieving your dream after a lifetime of hard work. And the next moment, your career is in jeopardy all because of an injury that you had no control over. Coming into the league, Lonzo Ball battled expectations that were larger than life and had a bullseye on his back that he couldn't control. Um, and Lonzo is not the best player on that team. Now. Are you crazy? Are you saying Lonzo better than LeBron? Yes. Well, I'll see. You, you lost hey, me hey, on that. Hey, hey, I'll you lose you there. again. I'll lose you again. You can't go there. Though Zoe would be faced with immense pressure and struggle early in his career, eventually it all come together. He'd find his shot, he'd find a home, but he'd lose his health, which would have everybody wondering what would be next for him. Well, I'm here to tell you guys that we have some news that potentially changes everything for him, but first, Today's content is sponsored by Playoff Games. Playoff Games is an app where you can play different games and join different tournaments to win real cash prizes. It's something super simple and fun if you like to play mobile games or just have some free time. Which why not try to earn some extra money if it's free? What Playoff Games does is it combines casual gaming with esports, allowing you to monetize your skills by playing your favorite mobile games. So you can win real money in two ways. Participate in unlimited quick tournaments or compete on the daily leaderboards. Now you guys already know what I love about Playoff Games. I love the fact that all of this is completely free. All you have to do is download it, play for fun, improve your score, and you win real money. I've been playing a ton of Tetris lately, which is a blast from the past and let me tell you guys that not only have i been having a lot of fun playing the game but i've also been having a lot of fun tracking my progress tracking your progress is easy and you can see your ranking among other players in the community the higher your ranking the more money that you can earn if playoff games sounds like something that interests you click the link in the description below to download it for free thank you playoff games for sponsoring today's content when lonzo ball landed in chicago as a new orleans pelicans fan i had mixed emotions on one hand, I couldn't be happier for Zoe. It was cool to see somebody like Zoe who had faced intense scrutiny to start their career, get the bag and go to what was going to be a great basketball situation for himself. On the other hand, it hurt losing what was supposed to be our team's franchise point guard for what was virtually nothing. I understand that Zoe was a free agent that wanted to leave after being undervalued and misused in New Orleans, but that didn't make his departure any easier. Zion and Zoe had fit together like puzzle pieces, and Zoe, who was just 23 at the time of the sign and trade, still had a ton of unrealized potential. That same potential would start to turn heads in Chicago. In Zoe's first season in Chicago, he'd average 13 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 5.1 assists, while shooting a scorching hot 42.3% from three on 7.4 attempts a game. Mind you that Zoe was putting up these numbers while providing elite defense, taking full advantage of his quickness, instincts, and 6'6 frame. On defense, Zoe was a versatile nightmare. He was something that any team in the modern NBA would covet. And on offense, he was a sniper that was also one of the most gifted passers in the game. His assist numbers never told the full story for him because they weren't something that he hunted. For him, passing the ball was something that came naturally. In today's game, a lot of players dominate the ball, dribbling the air out of it to hunt Gotti assist numbers. Zoe was different. He'd play chess. Zoe would make the right pass that would eventually lead to a basket. Some players break defenses down with their dribbling. Zoe would do that with his passing, which almost feels like a lost start in today's NBA. At point guard, Zoe was everything that Chicago could have wanted. Zoe was so good that his incredible play would help the Bulls momentarily claim the one seed in the Eastern Conference in his first year. And then, the unthinkable happened. Lonzo Ball would tear his meniscus. While a meniscus tear is bad, it's usually not the worst injury ever. Trey Murphy tore his meniscus this past September and was back in December of the same year. Cam Johnson tore his this past November and was hooping in January. So you guys get my point. This brings us to the question, why hasn't ZO2 seen the basketball floor since tearing his all the way back in 2022? The answer? Zo suffered a series of setbacks and complications that were so mysterious that even the Chicago Bulls and their doctors were confused. Although the entire thing was confusing, a few things remained evidently clear. Zo was suffering pain just doing everyday activities saying that just going up the stairs was painful. And also that Zo's career was now in jeopardy. 
How could you play basketball if you had this pain that you didn't have an answer for? All of this, along with Stephen A apparently having some top secret intel from Zoe's doctors, would lead to him saying this last August. And it's really sad what happened to him. Those are doctors. Something went wrong mm -hmm. in terms of these procedures that he has had. I don't think he'll ever be the same um, based off of what we're seeing and hearing and reading about. I've heard that it's even hard for him to get up from the sit sitting position. My man Lonzo heard this and let everybody, especially Stephen A. Smith, know that the cycle of bad news that was clouding him was finally coming to an end. Stephen A. Who are your sources, bro? Please, please tell me who your sources are. Come on, man. Come on, man. You gotta stop yapping. And I actually like you, man. I don't even know you like that, but I like you. I'm coming back, man. Come on. Lonzo's words, I'm coming back, would be heard across the basketball world, but still it was clear that he had a long road ahead of him if he wanted to return to the floor. And then we'd get some news that would change everything. March 9th, it would be reported that Zoe would be sprinting and cutting on the court. March 19th, we'd get a video of Zoe dunking and looking comfortable doing it. And then March 21st, we'd get a report that there is growing buzz that ZO2 will return next season. Now, KCJ would make it clear that we'd still need to be cautiously optimistic here since Zo hasn't started taking contact or playing 5 on 5 or anything like that. But I mean still, how could you not be cautiously optimistic here? This is amazing news and infinitely better than all of those negative reports and speculation that were teetering towards the possibility that Zo may never see the floor in the NBA again. At this stage of things, all I'm hoping for is progress and we're getting that, so I'm not complaining. Now mind you that if Zo were to return to the NBA floor, that he'd be doing something that no player has ever done before. By attempting to return to the NBA game, Zo is attempting to be the first player to return after receiving a cartilage transplant procedure. That would be legendary. We've seen Zo do the unexpected before. Here's to hoping that he could do it again. Guys, in the comments below, let me know what you think of everything, especially what a Zo return would mean for the Chicago Bulls team. Could we potentially see a Kobe White and Lonzo Ball backcourt tearing up the league next season in Chicago? For those of you who haven't been paying attention, Kobe White has been going off this year, averaging 19.4 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 5.2 assists. Io has been looking really good too. He just had a 35-point game against the Rockets, and he's been averaging 18 points a game in the month of March. For what was initially a mess of a season in Chicago, these two have shown a ton of promise. Don't sleep on the Bulls, there's more potential there than a lot of people think. Again guys, let me know what you think of everything. Clicking the video on the screen right now is a great way to support my channel. I'm Get Like Coop, bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.